Ethonidapine in, is a dihydropyridine calcium channel blocker marketed by Shianogi and Co. of Japan. It was launched in 1995, under the brand name Landil. The drug blocks both T-type and L-type calcium channels. Drug Controller General of India DCGI, granted approval to M.S. Ajanta Pharma Limited and under the brand name of EFONTA and Zuvantis Pharma Limited for marketing Ephonidopine under brand name Ethnoker in India. Structure Activity Relationship Ephonidopine is a dual calcium channel blocker, L and T type. It has a unique chemical structure. The phosphonate moiety figure one, at the C5 position of the dihydropyridine ring is considered to be important for the characteristic pharmacological profile of the drug. Figure 1 – Mechanism of action Ephonidopine, a new generation dihydropyridine DHP, calcium channel blocker, inhibits both L-type and T-type calcium channels. Pharmacodynamics Ephonidopine exhibits antihypertensive effect through vasodilatation by blocking L-type and T-type calcium channels. Ephonidopine has a negative chronotropic effect. Working on sinoatrial node cells by inhibiting T-type calcium channel activation, ephonidopine prolongs the late phase 4 depolarization of the sinoatrial node action potential and suppresses an elevated hour. The negative chronotropic effect of ephonidopine decreases heart rate, myocardial oxygen demand and increases coronary blood flow. Ephonidopine increases coronary blood flow by blocking L and T-type calcium channels and attenuates myocardial ischemia. By reducing synthesis and secretion of aldosterone, ephonidopine prevents hypertrophy and remodeling of cardiac myocytes. Ephonidopine increases glomerular filtration rate without increasing intraglomerular pressure and filtration fraction. This prevents hypertension-induced renal damage. Ephonidopine prevents Rho kinase and NFB-induced renal parenchymal fibrosis and provides long-term renal protection. Ephonidopine suppresses renin secretion from the juxtaglomerular apparatus in the kidneys. Ephonidopine enhances sodium excretion from the kidneys by suppressing aldosterone synthesis and secretion from the adrenal glands. Aldosterone-induced renal parenchymal fibrosis is suppressed by ephonidopine. Ephonidopine prevents NFB-induced hypertrophy and inflammation in the renal vasculature and protects the kidneys. Ephonidopine protects against endothelial dysfunction due to its antioxidant activity and by restoring no bioavailability. Ephonidopine has anti-atherogenic activity and protects the blood vessels from atherosclerosis. Ephonidopine lowers blood pressure in cerebral resistance vessels and prevents hypertension-induced brain damage. Pharmacokinetics absorption peak plasma concentration is achieved in about 1.5 to 3.67 hours after administration. Half-life is approximately 4 hours. The pharmacokinetic parameters of ephonidopine are depicted in Table 1. Table 1, PK parameters in adult healthy male subjects asterisk data on file long duration of action ephonidopine has a slow onset and a long duration of action. This unique characteristic of ephonidopine is because of the following reasons, high lipophilicity of ephonidopine allows it to enter the phospholipid-rich cell membrane and access the dihydropyridine binding site of the CA2 plus channels. Tight binding to the dihydropyridine receptors. The dissociation constant of ephonidopine from dihydropyridine receptors is very low, 0.0042 per minutes, nm, signifying very slow dissociation from the receptors. This explains the long duration of action of ephonidopine. Metabolism Ephonidopine is primarily metabolized in the liver. The important metabolites are N-dephenylated ephonidopine, DPH, deaminated ephonidopine, AL, and N-debenzylated ephonidopine, DBZ. DBZ and DPH exhibit activity as calcium antagonists. The vasodilating properties of DBZ and DPH were about two-thirds and one-third respectively than that of the parent compound. Results suggest that the majority of the pharmacological effect after oral dosing of ephonidopine hydrochloride in man is due to unchanged compound and its metabolites make a small contribution to the pharmacological effect. Elimination biliary route is the main pathway of excretion. No significant amount of unchanged drug was excreted in urine. In the urine collected for 24 hours after an oral dosing, 1.1% of the dose was excreted as deaminated ephonidopine, and 0.5% as a pyridine analog of deaminated ephonidopine. 
Indications Essential hypertension and renal parenchymal hypertension Angina dosage and administration Essential hypertension and renal parenchymal hypertension, 20-40 mg orally once daily. A dose of up to 80 mg per day is seen to be safe and effective in clinical trials. Angina, 40 mg per day. Contraindications Contraindicated in patients hypersensitive to ephonidopine or any of the excipients It is also contraindicated in pregnancy and lactation. Precautions should be administered with caution in patients with hepatic impairment dose adjustment may be required in elderly as hypotension can occur ephonidopine may worsen clinical condition in patients with sinus bradycardia, sinus arrest or sinus node dysfunction as dizziness can occur due to hypotensive action. One should be careful while operating machines, with aerial work platforms and driving of a motor vehicle drug should not be stopped abruptly. Discontinuation should be gradual and under supervision of a qualified physician drug interactions other antihypertensive agents ephonidopine enhances the antihypertensive action additively and may produce hypotension and shock blood pressure should be monitored regularly to adjust dose of concomitant drugs Cimetidine. Cimetidine inhibits 450 cypriot pounds enzymes involved in metabolism of ccbs Blood concentration of calcium channel antagonists increase leading to higher incidence of side effects, hot flushes. Grapefruit juice, grapefruit juice suppresses enzymes metabolizing calcium channel antagonists, cytochrome P450, and reduces the clearance. Thus, there is a possibility that blood concentration of the drug may increase and the antihypertensive effect is enhanced. Tacrolimus, ephonidopine inhibits metabolic enzymes involved in tacrolimus metabolism and reduces its clearance. So, increase in blood concentration of tacrolimus can occur. Adverse drug reactions The common side effects are hot flushes, facial flushing and headache. In addition, elevation in serum total cholesterol, ALT, SGPT, AST, SGOT, and BUN may occur. Frequent urination, pedal edema, increased triglycerides occurs in less than 0.1%. Lesser incidence of pedal edema, one common adverse effect of the L-type CA2 plus channel blockers like amlodipine is vasodilatory pedal edema. Combined L-T-type CA2 plus channel blockers, such as ephonidopine, display antihypertensive efficacy similar to their predecessors, amlodipine, with much less propensity of pedal edema formation. Ephonidopine equalizes the hydrostatic pressure across the capillary bed through equal arteriolar and venular dilatation, thus reducing vasodilatory edema. These incremental microcirculatory benefits of ephonidopine over the conventional L-type CA2 plus channel blockers amlodipine are likely attributed to their additional T-type CA2 plus channel blocking properties and the increased presence of T-type CA2 plus channels in the microvasculature, e.g. arterioles, capillaries, venules etc. Among the CCBs, ephonidopine, use in special population administration to elderly the drug should be started at low dose, 20 mg per day, in L elderly. Patients should be carefully observed for development of hypotension. Dose may be halved if there is intolerance to the 20 mg per day dosage regimen. Pregnancy and lactation The drug should not be administered to pregnant women and women suspected of being pregnant. Administration to lactating women should be avoided unless benefit significantly surpasses the risk to the child. Mothers on ephonidopine treatment should avoid breastfeeding. Pediatric use safety of ephonidopine in low birth weight infants, newborns, infants and children has not been established. Ephonidopine the best in class ephonidopine is unique among clinically available CCBs. Its antihypertensive efficacy is superior or at par with other CCBs. But, in terms of pleiotropic effects leading to enhanced cerebral, cardiac and renal protection, ephonidopine scores over the other CCBs. However till date except amlodipine these CCBs benidopine, clinidopine, ephonidopine, are not approved in USA or Europe. No major guideline has supported these newer CCBs. Clinical trials under which claims are made mostly from the pharma industry sponsored. Advantages over amlodipine 1. Better renoprotection by dual channel blockade prevention of Rho kinase and NFKB induced tubulointerstitial fibrosis reduction of synthesis and secretion of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex 2. Preferred in angina with hypertension due to negative chronotropic action 3. Better control of reflex tachycardia 4. Reduces cardiac remodeling, arterial stiffness and prevents atherogenesis 5. 
more useful in patients with diabetes and nephropathy 6. Better protection against cardiac hypertrophy by significant reduction in LVMI 7. Less adverse effects compared to amlodipine 8. Reduces endothelial dysfunction and oxidative stress antioxidant property advantages over silnodipine 1. Strong negative chronotropic effect less tachycardia compared to silnodipine 2. Significant improvement in exercise tolerance, better choice in hypertensive patients with angina.3. Better BP control by marked urinary NA plus excretion 4. Better reno protection by A. Suppression of plasma renin release B. Prevention of Rho kinase and NFKB induced tubulointerstitial fibrosis C. Reduction of synthesis and secretion of aldosterone from the adrenal cortex 5. Better choice in diabetic hypertensive 6. Prevents cardiac remodeling by suppression of aldosterone secretion 7. Superior antioxidant activity 8. Less adverse effects compared to silnodipine advantages over benadipine L and T-type CCBs have invoked a lot of interest in the management of hypertension because of their unique pharmacological profile. Several novel agents have been developed including azelnidipine, barnidipine, benadipine, ephonidipine, manadipine and nilvodipine. Among all the agents, ephonidipine has emerged as the best among its peers. The advantages of ephonidipine over benadipine are summarized below. 1. More selective blockade of T-type calcium channels 2. More balanced renal arteriolar dilatation than benadipine 3. Superior anti-proteinuric effect 4. Greater reduction of serum aldosterone 5. Reno protection by reducing plasma renin unlike benadipine 6. Greater negative chronotropic effect 7. Ephonidopine has antiplatelet activity 8. Ephonidopine reduces insulin resistance 9. Significantly lower incidence of pedal edema and constipation compared to benadipine references in Japanese, Landel Randaru, PDF, Chianogi and Co. April 2005.